For being a game series that literally takes place in a restaurant, FNAF is not usually associated with food all that often. It's ironically a similar deal to Chuck E. Cheese's and Showbiz Pizza, for example, where you know they're restaurants, but that's not really what you Hi, care there's... about. But I wanted to just take a step back and look over the FNAF series and try to decipher every single menu item that Fazbear Entertainment has ever put on the plates of customers. This will include candies they've made, actual stuff they serve at the restaurants they own, and everything in between. And no, sadly Mr. Cupcake does not count, because he's not edible. Or is he? So, to start off this little analysis here, we should obviously start with the first game in the series. And this game doesn't really have much reference to food, but we can decipher a few things. Obviously, it's called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, so we can gather that it does serve pizza. And there's also birthday cakes on many of the drawings from kids, so we can assume that they do also serve birthday cake. But sadly, since we cannot see inside the kitchen in FNAF 1, and have no official way to see how the kitchen looks, we can't really decipher what they would have made in there other than those two things. Due to Mr. Cupcake's appearance and Chica's design, you'd assume that they would also sell cupcakes, but there is no proof of this. So, for the little we get in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, we can deduce that they have two menu items. But luckily, thanks to Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, we do get a slight glimpse into the kitchen of FNAF 1, which helps us with a few more things. We can tell they do serve at least pepperoni on their pizza. We don't know about any other toppings besides this, but they do at the very least serve pepperoni, and that they also serve chicken. As we can see a box for Chica's processed poultry, and these do appear to be chicken wings. So that brings us to a grand total of four menu items for the FNAF 1 Pizzeria. So now let's move on to the FNAF 2 Pizzeria. Okay, before we move on, I want to mention that my plushie literally just has like three more in stock. So if we could get them sold out, that would be really, really awesome. It sells out when it hits 200 sales and they will be shipping next month. So, uh, yeah. So... The standard Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Box design used on merchandise features Toy Freddy. Now, there doesn't seem to be a major problem with this. I mean, the logo for the pizzeria that used in all the merchandise having Toy Freddy, not the craziest thing in the world. I mean, yeah, it is a little weird because that location wasn't really open for that long, but oh well. Toy Freddy, he's fine. He's a suitable Freddy, right? No, wrong. There's a major problem with the fact that the official FNAF pizza box just has Toy Freddy on it. There is a huge problem with this. And the problem with it spreads to the games too with the fact that the FNAF 2 location, despite supposedly being a pizzeria, has no kitchen. Like... You can't call yourself the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and just not have pizza. I can't even, like, it's just so baffling to me that Scott just, like, somehow overlooked the kitchen in the restaurant he was modeling. But, yeah, uh, I can't really pinpoint a menu for this restaurant because they have no kitchen and I have no proof that they sold food in the first place. Which is crazy, but I digress. It would not be nearly as big of an issue if the place didn't say it was Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, because it is structured like a private party place, where the people who book their parties would be expected to order their own food, with all the separate party rooms and such. But that is not the case, because they literally advertise themselves as selling pizza. There's cutouts of pizza on the walls! Come to think of it, there's also pizza cutouts in the walls of the FNAF 1 location, and it shows more pizza toppings, which means that I have to go back and change- I'm not doing that. There are pizza boxes for this place in real life, but they don't have- they have no way to make the pizza, so I'm so confused. Although the closest things we do have to some kind of food items from the FNAF 2 location are the several real life products that are food, that feature this specific FNAF 2 logo. Which means that these real life Freddy Fazbear's pizza items with this logo on them could have presumably come from this specific pizzeria. 
Extremely recent example are these orange sour candy tin things that look like tiny pizza boxes. That has the FNAF 2 pizzeria on it. There are these FNAF gummy pizzas. The FNAF chocolate bar. Okay, so let's side tangent here. I just found a bootleg um, dark chocolate variant of the bar. This is not official. Um, it is a it is the same bar, but it says dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, and it's got um, fake blood on the actual wrapper, like printed on, and it also comes with a all these little posters with f stolen fan art on them, and it has the rules for safety on the back of the bar. I just really wanted to mention this because I, I I don't know if I'm ever gonna have a chance to mention this again, but I think this is really funny. The cancelled Five Nights at Freddy's pizza sauce, along with the cancelled Five Nights at Freddy's popcorn, which would have been pizza flavored, which sounds interesting. And then, not really food, but the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza official pizza kit is very deliberately Toy Freddy themed, especially having a Toy Freddy pizza cutter, which is the coolest piece of FNAF merch ever made. I won't be taking criticism on that. How could you hate on this? just technical achievement but yeah i don't really have any proof of any of these existing in the game universe so i'm just gonna go with the fact that yeah the fnaf 2 location doesn't have a kitchen so it likely didn't serve food so now we can skip over fnaf 3 and 4 because neither of those games take place in restaurants so now let's move on to five nights at freddy's sister location you know what Wendy was a little devil thing who was brought to Now I just want to say before I move on to this next section that if you hear anything in the background, it's probably rain because there is a big storm going on, but I do not want to delay the video any further. So, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, despite not actually taking place in the restaurant, is centered around a restaurant that has closed, which is Circus Baby's Pizza World, which we never actually see in the game universe, surprisingly. We've seen Circus Baby's Entertainment and Rental in multiple games, but Circus Baby's Pizza World was only open for a day in universe, so we've never really had a chance to see it. But we do have some leads on what they could have served here. Now, the obvious one is pizza, because it's called Circus Baby's Pizza World, but as we should learn from FNAF 2, you can never be so sure when you can't prove if the place had a kitchen or not, because apparently, the restaurant not having a kitchen is a genuine possibility here. There's actually an official Circus Baby's Pizza World logo featured on some merchandise by BioWorld, but this logo does not seem to feature any indication of the food here other than the word pizza. Which, thanks to FNAF 2, we cannot use as evidence. But luckily, we do have a pretty convincing lead to some food items, which is Circus Baby herself, which, if you don't know, is an animatronic that doubles as an ice cream machine. The ice cream that Baby gives Elizabeth in Sister Location, and gives you in Help Wanted 2, appears to be a vanilla ice cream with a cherry on top. Now, I, I guess I can't really assume it's vanilla, but like... It looks like vanilla, so I'm just gonna say it's vanilla. Same goes for this poster here, which shows that they had strawberry ice cream. Again, gonna assume it's strawberry, because it's pink. But that is the only Circus Baby's Pizza World ice cream I believe we have actually seen. But don't fear, because that is not the end of the Circus Baby's Pizza World menu, because we luckily do have one source of information on this restaurant, and that is the fourth closet. This book is literally the only piece of FNAF media where we get to directly go to Circus Baby's Pizza World while it was open, and while this version is clearly drastically different from the one that would have existed in the game universe, not even being having the world part of the name, it's just Circus Baby's Pizza, this is basically our only option to look at certain things that, that would have been eaten at Circus Baby's Pizza World. So, let's look here. Alright, so I forgot that there's that one Fazbear Fright story where, uh, b b with Ballora that, um, Circus Baby Pizza World exists in, but, um, I'm too lazy to go back and read Fazbear Frights, so I don't really have the mental capacity to do that right now, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna pray that there's nothing else in that book. But, back to the fourth closet graphic novel. 
If you look at this panel, if you look really closely at this background table, you can see this guy's eating a slice of pepperoni pizza. So they do serve pepperoni pizza, and I, I assume they'll also let you eat it without the pepperoni, so that's two, two pizza topping things. There's a part where Mangle interacts with a cotton candy cart, so they did have cotton candy at the restaurant, good to know. But sadly, after looking through the whole book, I don't really think there's much else food in this book other than those two things. So yeah, I guess that's basically the most definitive you can get for a menu of Circus Baby's Pizza World, so uh, yeah, complete menu right here. FNAF 6 time! So the obvious thing to pull from in FNAF 6, which is actually the most comprehensive list of toppings we have for any FNAF location, because the beginning of the game literally just shows them to you. You can even customize the pizza, but it doesn't actually change anything in the gameplay, so there's not really any point to doing that. But we can see all the toppings they have, which is very helpful for this particular video and nothing else. One place I thought to check for evidence of food that they would have served at the Pizza Sim location were the lawsuits that you can get in the game. But, sadly, there's not really much there. There is a lawsuit related to food poisoning, but it doesn't specify what food poisoned the kid. Which sadly means it's completely useless info to us. Luckily, we do have some other leads from things that you can buy for your pizzeria. You can buy the Lemonade Clown and the Fruit Punch Clown, which canonically did enter the pizzeria according to Help Wanted 2, if that's to be believed. But this officially adds Lemonade and Fruit Punch to our menu, so cool. And while it's debatable if this is quite a food or not, it is edible, and the Gumball Swivel Hands thing is something you can get for your pizzeria, so I'm gonna add gumballs to the menu. The possible presence of El Chip in the pizzeria could imply that all of the menu items that would have been in El Chip's restaurant could have been at the pizzeria simulator location, but we have no proof of this. We have the candy cadet who, um, gives you candy, I think. This looks like plastic, but I mean, I guess it counts. And call me crazy for this one, but the pizzeria has cups, so theoretically, you could put any liquid in the building in the cup. So, there's a duck pond full of water. We're putting water on the menu. So yeah, um, that's really all I can think of for this pizzeria. Uh, quite the assortment of things here. Um, oh yeah, hand unit mentions coffee. Let's add that too. All right, here's the menu for FNAF 6. This is the most deranged one yet. El Chips Fiesta Buffet Sir Burrito. Okay, ultimate custom night is over. On to Help Wanted! <laughs> so, Help Wanted is one of the less fun ones on this list because I actually have to just read the labels of a bunch of different candies that they had because there's not really much else on the food that I haven't mentioned already because I have mentioned a lot of stuff from this game, like the chicken from earlier. But I suppose I should do a rundown of every single item that you can eat in Help Wanted. Not including action figures. I know you can eat those, but they're, they're not technically menu items, as much as I'd like to include them. Disappointment Chips, L Chips, Meat Bites, Bonnie Bites, Mixed Nuts, Pirate Plunder Bar, Butter for One, Freddy Fudge Bar, Faz Bar, Lemon Chica Bar, Moon Drop, Cheeky Chew. Why did I say cheeky? I meant teethy. Oh well. Chewy Treat, Fazzies, Eat and Cry. Cat's Black Licorice, Bite Late Night, Crudlet. Goblins, Buccaneer Bounty, Chica of the Sea. Devilish Delights. Lavender Dollop, Mint Third Eye. Squirmy. Dreadful Horrid Gross Sloppy. Soda Roni, Exotic Beverage. Foxy Cove Cooler. And last but not least, Chica Chug. We also have the chocolate and vanilla cake from the pizza party ending. Also, I have no idea how I managed to forget this in the sister location section, but since it isn't help wanted, exotic butters. Are you happy, Redditor? I forgot to mention L Chips Bold and Spicy. Alright, I'm getting tired. My voice is tired, I mean. Um, I think it's about time to move on to the most ambitious game food-wise in this game, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is a vast and massive pizzeria with several different restaurants inside of it. 
and that means that there's a lot of ground to cover for this place. Far more so than literally any other game in the series. The FNAF 1 location is a little tic-tac compared to the Pizzaplex, but the advantage that the Pizzaplex does have is that it does have literal menus that I can look at, and also most of the food is laying around the place and I can actually look at it. So one of the first places I thought of when thinking of places to look for menus in this game was the entrance to Elt Ships, because when you go to that part of the game, the menus are kind of hard to miss. So the Elt Ships menu has the Ultimate Taco for $15, the Kids Taco for $14, the Burrito for $13, the Mexi Salad for $20, the Menudo... Is that how you say that? Let me look it up. Menudo. Meh, yeah, close enough. Then we've got the Guac Bites, the Salsa Sampler, oh, both for $10. We've got the Extra Add-ons, which is Shredded Lettuce, Sour Cream, and Extra Cheese. You can see there's churros and a flan there. And then in the most popular section, there is Taco Ring, Beans and Rice, and Taco. And I do think it's an important time to note that all the chips and candy at the Pizza Plex are just the same as they were in Help Wanted. However, there are some new ones which I will be mentioning here later. I went to investigate Mazer Size to see if they had anything there, because the big push of that place is that you eat while you run. And sadly, there is no restaurant and not even a kitchen at Mazer Size, so I don't know where the food comes from, but there were soda machines, which was a pretty good resource to seeing all the different sodas that they have at the Pizza Plex. The soda machine lists off water, soda roni, soda roni light, chica chug, fizzy faz grape, fizzy faz pi pink lemonade, fizzy faz sour lime, and fizzy faz orange, which are all respective flavors to each animatronic. There are also individual menus for the snack bars in the atrium, which lists off things like add-on toppings for the pizzas, which would be anchovies, pickles, broccoli, pineapple, sausage, bacon, pepperoni, ham, hamburger. Um, there's cheese pizza, there's veggie pizza, there's pepperoni pizza, there's Alfredo pizza, pizza pasta, spinach pizza, popcorn, kettle popcorn, cheese popcorn. There's pretzels, stuffed pretzels, cinnamon pretzels, hot dogs, burger dogs, chili dogs, Roxy Road, which is something I'm sure, pizza shake, burger shake, which there is actually an official artwork of. And that just looked delicious, all the ground up meat and bread with um, mustard and ketchup sw swirled through it, that looks yummy. Then there's also the menu for the salads and sides bar, which includes Brussels sprouts, mac and cheese, roasted potatoes, stuffed tomatoes, pickle mash, and corn slaw. Probably the most obscure menu in the game can be found in the lobby of Fazer Blast before you enter the elevator, which has this little chalkboard with a menu for the bar next to it. In this menu, I actually list numbers in the hundreds next to the items, which would make me assume these are not prices, but are actually calories, I guess? So um, make of that what you will. But this menu includes pizza, corn dogs, soft pretzels, french fries, bonnie mochi donut, candied peanuts, hamburgers, freddy fudge bar, choco chicas, blondies, and cherry blast roll up. And we can actually see some artwork of what the corn dogs look like here, and these are, um, they sure are. That's just my only thought. These don't look edible. These don't look like food. I don't think you could eat these. And if you did eat them, I don't feel like they would go over well with your stomach. That's just like, that's just how I would, um, how I view these. These don't look very food-like. And to top off Fazer Blast, there is a gumball machine in the lobby of that area, so we have to count that they have gumballs. One of the first restaurants you encounter in the game is the Fazpad, which actually does include a full menu, and it's a Fazbear-themed coffee shop. And the Fazpad menu includes fried Brussels sprouts, bowl o corn, freda mame, korma chunks. Moving on, we've got kale pale, pineapple and shrimp tempura, pra ram roxy, um, chica tika masala. Is that how you say that? Pepperoni curry, Freddy fried rice, masa moondrop curry, meatloaf sandwich. Pad CU, um, I have no, I don't have a single clue what the heck that could be. The special for today is the Fazbear French Onion Soup. 
For the drinks, they've got three of the standard drinks that everywhere in the pizza place has, but then there's also the Glamrock Latte, the Pumpkin Spice Fazzacino, the Chica Chai, the Monte Matcha Latte, and the Affogator. And then there's also the the Acra Sorbet, I think that's how you say things. I'm terrible, I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Lemon Sundrop Cake and Montgomery Mango Mochi. I apologize for how many things I've butchered there, but yeah, that's the Fazpad menu, so yay. So now we move on to what they had at Chica's Cupcake Bakery in the Pizzaplex, which is a rather large but pretty obscure area of the game. This area, you're never actually required to go here. You can go here, obviously, but there's not really any big reason to unless you want the hoodie upgrade or you're trying to get all the collectibles, because there's not really much to do here. There's no story objectives related to this area, which is very strange because of how much effort they put into it. But they did get some more use out of it with Ruin, so I guess that's neat. And in Ruin, it is a required area you have to go to. But they had various different things here, which included weird green swirly cupcakes, spiky cupcakes, um, what are those? I forget what they're called, um, weird bagels. We got this very unfinished placeholder looking cake that I can almost guarantee that it was just a placeholder asset that they just forgot to change. Uh, we've got croissants here, we've got a flamingo cake, which also uses the extremely unfinished looking model. We've got this cupcake here, we've got all these little pieces of chocolate, we've got a cinnamon roll, I think, we've got these little thingies with jelly in the middle, we've got more brownies and cupcakes here, we've got a big cake full of fruit and stuff, which I assume is the final model for that other cake. Um, then we've got a menu for here, which includes river water, fizzy blast, Ultimate Plum Juice, Chica Slurpee, Roxy Slurpee, Moonlight Juice, and then we've got a nice little th display of every single kind of lollipop that they have at the Pizzaplex. Is that a beach ball asset put on top of a stick? And last but not least, there's also these fun little parody things of those old ice cream popsicles with the gumball eyes and stuff. And I like these a lot, I wish these were real. So now we move on to Help Wanted 2! So, Help Wanted 2 has an entire minigame category dedicated to prepping food. So, luckily I do have all of the assets for this mode, so let's look at everything that they have there. Chica's Skinny Taco, Fazbear Flan, Glam Wraps, Freddy's Faz Tato, Monty's Fiesta Pizza, Roxy's Rockin' Nachos, Chica Chowda, Hot Dog, French Fries, Pizza, Popcorn, Pretzel, Meat Pretzel, Chica Chug, Exotic Beverage, Orange Soda, Pink Lemonade, Soda Roni, Le Sour Lime, DJ Music Man's Techno Cooler, Chica Chug Blendy, Exotic Blendy, Bl Soda Roni Blendy, Techno Cooler Blendy, and Pizza Salad. Probably already said Hot Dog, but Hot Dog's here on the list again, if I didn't already say it. The pizza toppings include meat, not meat, and cheddar cheese. Did I just say cheddar cheese? Shredded cheese. Shredded. The sauces also include exotic butters, fazer sauce, guacamole, hot sauce, ketchup, nacho cheese, and tomato sauce. There is also beans, corn, and rice at El Chips. Whew, that was a lot. That was a lot of stuff. Alright, well... That covers every game up to the very most recent FNAF game. I did it. I am 100% confident that I did miss probably a few things, but I think I covered most of the important bases. And now we're going to get a little bit more into real life products before I conclude the video. So the FNAF movie seems like something where it would be pretty hard to find a full menu for the pizzeria, but luckily, thanks to an official website, we do actually just ha straight up have the image that they had in the menu in the movie, so no real big deal there, so I guess I'll just read through that to get this out of the way, because I know if I didn't talk about it, people would mention it. They have a small pizza, a medium pizza, a large pizza, all meat combo, veggie lovers combo, super combo, and a chica special combo, for toppings, they have cheese, pepperoni, sausage, ham, bacon, banana pieces, mushroom, red onion, spinach, black olive, extra cheese, tomato, pineapple, 
And then for other things, they have salad, chicken salad, small size chicken wings, family size chicken wings, party size chicken wings, extra large size chicken wings, par- large fry, um, chicken tenders, foxy sub, club sandwich, grilled cheese, rabbit foot stew, mini apple pie, cinnamon sticks, birthday cake, candy, soft drinks, iced tea, water, milk, apple juice, and beer. This is the first official FNAF location to be officially confirmed to have sold alcohol. Um, yeah, they were not messing around. Rather recently, there were some official Five Nights at Freddy's food products, which I've actually had, which is the official Freddy Fazbear orange drink and the official Roxy Cola, which are obviously based off of the ones in Security Breach. So they basically just made the drinks real, which is pretty cool. I tried the Roxy Cola. It's just kind of mid-off-brand Coke. Um, I didn't like it that much. It kind of gave me a stomach ache. The, Fre- the Fizzy Faz Freddy, though, was better. There was also a large gummy pizza and three different chocolate bars, which was the Freddy Orange Chocolate Bar, which was slightly orange flavored, had popping candy in it. Pretty gross. I'm gonna be completely honest, it is kind. It was kind of disgusting. Um, there was the Chica Birthday Cake flavored bar, which was actually pretty good. I like this one a lot. And then there was the Monty Slime flavored bar, which isn't even called a chocolate bar. It's called a lem- lemon cream bar. Um, this was rancid. This is this is not. This shouldn't be allowed. I don't. There's also the official U2's gummies and the Security Breach energy drink. I tried the gummies. Um, sorry U2's. I know I'm kind of an affiliate with you guys, but um, I didn't like your gummies that much. I apologize. But um, I didn't even try the energy drink though. So I guess you can feel better about that. Um, I did not even attempt to try the energy drink. This I this looks like it would kill me. And there's also tons of official Five Nights at Freddy's food recipes, but sadly I can't include these because these are recipes. These are not things that they would serve to you. These are things that you make for yourself. Now is it possible that some of the contents of the Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook and the contents of the Five Nights at Freddy's guidebooks could have been things that have actually been served at Fazbear locations? Absolutely, but I can't prove any of that, so we're just going to go ahead and say that These are just fun little recipes that you can make at home. I did it. I finally did it. I found out what Fazbear Entertainment is selling. I found every single fill away. There's a cereal in one of the Fazbear Fright stories, isn't there? The little freaking sign thing. I made a story about about a road sign. All right, I figured out most of what Fazbear Entertainment sells. I don't have the mental, like strength right now to read through Fazbear Frights again. It that's just that's just such a daunting task. So um I'm just gonna skip through that. Pretend Fazbear Frights doesn't exist. Most people do that anyway. That is every food item that Fazbear Entertainment has sold from FNAF 1 to Help Wanted 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's basically it. I really wanted to do this video for a while but it was just such a big task for like researching and stuff that I was putting it off for a while. But I decided to finally do it, and I'm glad I did. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, please consider buying a plushie. There's only three left, so if like three of you could like pretty pretty please um, buy one so it can be sold out, that'd be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.